What's up everybody, hope you're all doing great. Um, in the next few minutes we'll do a quick price prediction and price analysis on DYDX. Um, yeah, it was quite bullish last, or well, kind of today actually. Yeah, started in the um, in the early afternoon to be honest. Volume is looking quite good, 140 million uh, daily volume. Still in my opinion a relatively uh, low market cap, I think there is more um, I, th I think there's more potential for this uh, for this crypto. I think they have a great project. It has been tested, and I think there is demand for what they're doing. Um, and because DYDX is the governance token, it's also uh, a little bit inflationary. That's not because it's the governance token, but because it's the governance token that that could actually um, be worth quite a lot. Um, let's say in the next bull run. But in this video, we'll do a quick technical analysis seeing where I think a DYDX can go in the upcoming uh, days, week, week and a half, something like that. So the main point we are uh, running up against right now is 8.4. Um, of course, we are or we are finding some resistance here right now to 200 EMA, which is now at around 8.2. Uh, but I think that the main obstacle is going to be uh, 8.4 and I think it's going to be quite tough to, to actually break that. I mean, we might touch it. We already did touch it. But I think it's more likely that we uh, kind of will find enough resistance or yeah resistance off of it to actually you know, pull back a little. In my opinion, you know, we might have another chance at breaking 8.4 uh, from 7.84. Uh, that's the 382 FIB, which is uh, always uh, at least to my experience the strongest fib so you know we might do that so we might do this but i don't think that's going to be strong enough at least not if the market remains stable or where it is right now and you know if bitcoin goes up to somewhere like uh, 45 47 thousand yeah then uh, the chances of doing something like this actually greatly increase and um just gonna throw that in if we break that 8.4 i think it's inevitable that we trend up to 9.4 obviously not in one big move um, but i do think that uh, that that breaking that 8.4 is a threshold for for actually trending up to a 9.4 uh, from 9.4 i'll probably update the price prediction because that might take a while um so yeah that's possible as i said with some bullish markets but i think it's more likely that we uh kind of will drop down to 7.6 7.5 maybe even Oh, excuse me. Um, that's just a very strong support level, as you can see from uh, the 0 0.5 and the 0 0.618 FIB. Um, you also get an EMA, the 100 EMA, come, uh, or reaching that area. It's also a normal key level. The other EMAs, the 50 and the 28, are also going there. So I think it's most likely that right there between, well, let's say between 7.6 and 7.5, we'll find support maybe consolidate a little bit between 8.0 and 7.5 but i think from there uh, i think that's the ideal stepping stone to actually uh, getting a new small bull run or uptrend and breaking that 8.4 uh, um, so i think that's most likely but i just wanted to include the other scenarios in which we could break that 8.4 uh, sooner too um, so yeah that's basically my full analysis on dydx um, if you have any questions about the analysis as always please let me know down in the comments and i'll make sure to respond to that as soon as possible um, as always this is not financial advice it's just my opinion based on a technical analysis and some fundamental insights um, but having said that thank you all for watching and listening and i hope to see you all in my next videos bye